Hi, and this is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com and here's another evening top tip mobile. Um, another nugget of wisdom to help you overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of your health, happiness and success. And the title of this presentation is just simply simplify. Keeping things simple, just basically stripping back both everything practically in your life physically if you like everything emotionally everything spiritually and definitely everything mentally if you've been following me and whenever you're watching this presentation you might find out that i'm currently moving house i'm transitioning and i've had a cleansing process you could call it almost like a, a spring cleaning of everything that i've collected over the last well i'm 60 so you could say 60 years of my life. I've probably been accumulating ever since I got my last house in Old Colwyn, North Wales in the UK 20 years ago. Because prior to that, I was renting. I had a property, went through a divorce, started again and started collecting with a single dad. And my kids had things and they bought me things. I saved things. My mother died, I got her things. My father died, I got his things. Grandparents, aunties, pass on. Well, you know what happens. And if that hasn't happened to you, trust me, it will. You'll collect things. And although it's beautiful to have these treasured objects and memories, if you enjoy it, great. But if it's a burden to you, then you've got to let go. I love the things that I'd collected. I have no regrets over everything that I'd saved. But in the process of moving, I had to let go. And I probably wouldn't have done. I'm very good mentally. And I'm very good emotionally at letting go. I'm very much a master of myself. But my belongings, I tended to identify to. Um, maybe out of um, sentimentality which is a positive, positive thing, but it can also be something that uh, limits you. So I'm not saying that I'm right and I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just suggesting to you that you audit your possessions, that you simplify, that you clear the decks. It's very difficult to uh, do anything in a cluttered space. It's very difficult to feel free when you've got tons of stuff around you and you know all this stuff really that's long past its sell by date i would recommend that you get rid of so simplify by spring cleaning but you don't have to wait till spring to do it you can do it now and then audit your thoughts simplify your thinking be black and white remove the gray areas from your belief system know what you want know what you don't want say what you mean mean what you say have clarity because these grey areas don't only confuse you, they confuse everybody that you're communicating to. And if you say what you mean and mean what you say, and if you only talk about what you want and move towards what you want and keep it simple using those principles of being direct, then you won't go far wrong in my opinion. And then emotionally, only do what pleases and eases you. Do less of what gives you turbulence and trauma and do more of what gives you pleasure, health and peace of mind. And then you'll live an emotionally balanced life. Never settle for second best. These simple processes are practical, mentally balancing, emotionally stabilizing and spiritually just take some time out to first of all connect with the God and Goddess within and then expand your awareness to the beauty of of the world that we've been blessed with by God, G-O-D, the Grand Organising Designer. And you can probably hear the rain and it's an absolutely beautiful evening here in, in Yorkshire where I am in Stamford Bridge staying with friends during my transition. And here I'm actually, although I've got properties all over the world, sleeping on an airbed, living out of a suitcase, living very simply, very basically, 
a bit like a nomad. And I, I, I'm quite enjoying the challenge. It, it, it's not necessarily always convenient or comfortable, but it certainly um, allows me to grow. And I would recommend that you strip back your life, remove all your comfort zones, and get out there and go for it, because you're only here a short period of time. Uh, as I said before, I'm 60. I've got more years behind me than in front of me. And you don't get a second chance. This is not a rehearsal. And I know plenty of people who, as I said to you before, identify to their belongings. And they identify possibly to the labels that they've given themselves, which is the jobs and their status and their reputation. But you're not your reputation. You're not your job. You know, you're not your status. You are just whoever you are. You are, I'm Mike Garner, and your name, that's who you are. You know, when you remove all these um, trappings and embellishments, we're all the same. If you look at the skeleton, we're all the same. You know, the, 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 these separations that we create through religion and politics and race and sex and belief systems, really, we're all the same, you know, cut yourself and we all bleed the same blood and we've got to realize that life is very very simple and we're here for x amount of moments x amount of breaths and all we can do is our best to give ourselves a beautiful life and hopefully help other people do the same which is what i'm all about what are you all about keep it simple just simplify everything in terms of belongings, thoughts, actions and give yourself the opportunity to enjoy things by removing all the complications which sometimes literally do your head in and make your day difficult. Please and ease yourself. Have an easy day. Travel light. Remove the heaviness and the weightiness of complicated negative thoughts lots of stuff we all go in a box at the end of our lives and you can't take all this stuff with you your reputation isn't you your reputation is in what other people think of you and you can't do anything about that you're not your job and you're not your stuff just realize that you are a soul energy a spirit having a conscious experience in a physical body and this is your vehicle this is your home the skin within and keep it simple and enjoy it the best way that you can and if you like your stuff and you like your complications then just dismiss everything that i've said but i found losing all this stuff getting rid of this stuff choosing to leave it behind and to let go extremely liberating and I'm 60 and I've learned this lesson. I'm, I'm sharing it with you, however old you are. And I hope that you um, maybe can learn something from it and do something about it by keeping it simple and, and smiling and just enjoying the simple pleasures in life. And trust me, there's thousands and millions of those in this beautiful God-given earth that we've been blessed with to enjoy this incarnation. So I'll speak to you again. Keep checking back. My name is Mike Garner from MrMikeGarner.com and um, I love you all. God bless.